Hi there Brickheads and welcome to yet another episode of Building the Falcon's Nest here on Cubebrick. We are now on episode 3 of this series and today we're going to talk mostly about the rock work again, but of course that's not all I've been able to do over the last two weeks. Even though my original plan for this episode was a bit different, I had to adjust the building because of the slow order processing on LEGO Pick a Brick and that is something I needed the most since the last time you saw the mock. But we are now all set with parts, the rock work is getting closer to finish and I even have some additional stuff I was hoping for in this series, so I think this will be another episode worth watching. So, without any further ado, let's get started right now. And let's begin with the most exciting thing. I've been searching and hunting and finally I was able to get a freshly opened box in a store near me and I got 3 Falcon Girls, besides of course other figs I wanted from this series, but today we're focusing only on the Falcons. The new bird is a great new mold, although I thought that it will be a rubber one, just like the seagull was some time ago, since the shape is very similar, but I can't say it's a bad thing. And the figure itself is very well made. The leather covered arm for the Falcon to land on, the details on the back and the new print on the legs just look awesome. And the cape is a very good addition to the fig as well. I don't know if this shape has been used before, but I myself love it. These three figs will be a great addition to the fortress and I think that should be enough. I know that I should get more of those while they are available, but I'm not going hunting again because it was such an exhausting experience going each day from store to store to find those. I of course had to change the heads and accessories of two of them to get some variety and now we have a worthy squad for the fortress. Ok, but as great as these figs are, we should be talking more about the actual progress, so jumping into that, first thing I did was finishing the underwater section of the rock work using the parts I got in the last episode's haul. I didn't want to bore you with repeating the same stuff on the time lapse as in previous episode, so I made it all in just a snap. Ok, there was a bit more than that, but all in all it was the same repetitive rock stacking as all the other sides were. I just made it a bit more in a straight line since it's the back of the mock and it doesn't have to be too detailed, but still it looks very good in my opinion and most of all I can finally move up with the work. And that I started from the front of course, first trying out different ways I want to approach the rock work above the water. I think this will be a nice way to show the wet part of the rock work made in dark grey just above the water level with some foam gathering near the rocks and a few clusters of seaweed near the surface made with these green wolverine claws. The rock work will of course go even higher and it will start blending with the fortress walls in some point, but to even be able to move on, I first had to work on the base on which the fortress will be standing. So what I did next was covering the duplo plates with some lego system bricks and plates to have a solid foundation of what is to come and only then I could continue with making the rock work again. I of course left some uncovered space in the section where the angled wall will be because that part will require some brainstorming, but all of that I will leave for the next episode, okay? 
So with that done, I started making the dark rock work again, but this time above the water on the left side where I'll make the entry gate. Doing that, I had to steal a couple of trans clear plates from the other side just so I can finish the water edge on this side and then I moved to the light grey part of the rocks, meaning the dry ones. Of course, still as just an outline of what is to come as I will later fuse it with the wall, but we have to start somewhere, right? In the middle I had to keep in mind that there will be a bridge here leading up to the gate so I left some space for that, but other than that it's just simple slope stacking until the moment came that I used up all the ones I had. But overall I was able to make quite a decent part of the surface rock work done for this episode and now it just had to wait for the new pieces to arrive. Luckily I didn't have to wait that much because look what I just got. This is actually just a part of my order from the best sellers category but most of the pieces I needed right now are here so let's see what I got. Yeah. No surprise here, it's mostly slopes and trans clear plates for the water, with an addition of some random parts to be used either in this mock or any other in the future. So we have 200 of the trans clear plates, which I think should be enough for what I'm planning, but yeah, we'll see about that. Then we have some dark grey slopes, both taller and smaller, two of the inverted corners, some light grey regular slopes, more dark grey in different modified variants, a couple of headlights and snot bricks, more light grey slopes, this time the two brick tall ones, some brown ingots and a bunch of different accessories like a brown horse that I didn't have yet, a couple of fishes, shields, legs, hair and head pieces, lances and this cute little kitten that I just had to get. I mean just look at him, adorable. So yeah I have my new pieces and now all I have to do is get to some more building and hopefully finish the rock work already so I can move on to the fortress walls and the gate. So the next two weeks I'll be focusing on that because I just can't wait to see how the transition from the rocks to the wall will go. Hopefully as good as it looks in my head. But we won't be certain until we see each other again and to be sure that happens go ahead and hit that bell button to be notified the next time I upload a video. And of course drop a like if you enjoyed today's episode and all of the progress I was able to make. And if you have some remarks or ideas then go ahead and write them in the comment section below so we can chat while I build the rest of this beauty. I will see you all in the next video and until then make sure you keep it bricking.